Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we're diving into the significance of full body workouts. I'm gonna take you through my routine that's designed to maximize muscle growth and help you save time. As you see here, starting the workout off with pull-ups because pull-ups are a great compound exercise that engages your back and your biceps and even your core. So I use these at the beginning of my workouts as a little warm up. And then next we're going to jump into a superset of lateral raises followed up by T-bar rows. Lateral raises are gonna target your medial deltoids, so like your side deltoids. So when you see people have those capped shoulders, this is a great muscle. This is a great exercise for that. It's gonna help you build round shoulders and improve your shoulder width, which is gonna enhance your upper body aesthetics. When you have that wide uh, upper body, it just makes you look bigger and gives you that more V taper look that most people are going for. And then here, as you can tell, we jumped right into T-bar row. Obviously, this is working your back. This is a powerful compound movement that works the middle back, the lats, and even the rear delts. The combination of these two exercises hits both smaller shoulder muscle groups with the larger back muscle groups. This is gonna help you create a well-balanced round upper body. I prefer doing T-bar row because it supports your chest. I have bad lower back problems. So when you do a regular row, it tends to put a lot of pressure on your lower back. So I like the T-bar row because it takes off that pressure and you can focus more on doing the row. So here, as you can see, I'm doing the lateral raise standing and there will be a little swaying when you lift the weights, but you wanna try minimizing the, as much momentum as you can. You don't wanna sling the weight up. You wanna try to keep all that tension on your on the lateral head of the shoulder while you're lifting. Instead of going out straight to your sides, you wanna go out almost like a 45. You should be able to see the weights in your peripheral vision when you're doing the lateral raise. And here's another view of the T-bar row. So I'm really thinking, squeeze my back. I'm trying to pull my back here. I'm not trying to pull my biceps at all. Yeah, you will use your biceps a little bit, but you wanna mainly keep that focus on your back. And then I'm letting my arms extend all the way down. So I wanna lock the elbow all the way out to get even more stretch on the back. You can even see my shoulders kind of round forward a little bit. That allows for a little bit more stretch when I'm lifting the weight here. And that's gonna bring us to our next superset. We are going to do the seated leg press. This is pretty common leg workout you'll see uh, in pretty much every commercial gym. I really like the leg press because you can really load up the weight on this. You're gonna add uh, a lot of weight for most people. And it's great because you can do a lot of weight without putting all that weight on your back. When you do barbell squats, a, lo a lot of times that weight can be hard. It can be hard to hold that weight up, especially if you have uh, back problems, things like that. So this is a great way for you to add a lot of stimulus to the legs without having to carry all that weight on your back. Yeah, here I'm getting I do one warm up set and I'm gonna do two to three working sets. I'm increasing the weight each time. Uh, I think this was my first or second set here. Uh, we're just warming up, trying to loosen up the legs here. Um, and then we'll add some weight each time as we go. The leg press is a great exercise for targeting the quads, hamstrings, glutes. It's really a compound lift and it's gonna provide more control and more stability compared to squat because you're going up, you're lifting the weight up and down on a track here. You're not, it's not a free weight. So if you, if you have some stability problems or if you're having an injury or something, this may be a better option than doing some kind of free weight like the barbell squat. And then as you can see here, we immediately superset it with calf extension. So all I did was move my feet closer together and I put them at the bottom of the platform. And now I'm thinking I'm just using my calf and I wanna get a full rep here. So I'm letting my calves, I mean my heels all the way back and then I'm pushing all the way forward, trying to use nothing but my calf here. You've probably seen people do these in the gym before. They're pretty common. And I like to do it because it's an easy way to hit your calves at the same time as hitting your legs. So here's a side view. You want to try to get as deep as possible. I know some people aren't as flexible, so it's hard to get super deep on these. But you can see my knees, I'm trying to get them as close to my chest as possible. Here, I'm, I'm pretty much maxing out as low as I can go. You don't want your butt to come up off the seat. The lower you go, the more your butt will try to come up off. So think. Try to pull your body down into the seat. You can see I'm holding on to the handrails there because I'm trying to pull myself down in the seat 
to where my butt don't try to come out. I mean, come up. So as you can tell, we went up on the weights on this set. Still getting about 10 reps here. And then we're gonna hop straight back into calf extensions. Think. See, I'm letting my heels all the way back as far as I'm getting, and then extending them, and I'm squeezing at the top. So when I squeeze, I mean, when I extend my feet all the way out, I want to think squeeze for just a split second and then lower the weight back down and resist it down. Don't just let it flop because you may hurt yourself. Don't neglect the calves. I know most of y'all got small calves anyway, so go ahead, train them while you're there. If you're on the leg press, you might as well knock it out at the same time. Next, we're going to hop into an incline machine press. So these are the hammer, str hammer strength machines that we have at our gym. And I really like these machines. I think they have a good uh, movement pattern to them. This is obviously is gonna work the chest. I like to mix up doing incline and flat press, but honestly, in, most, in my opinion, I think most people should be doing incline because I think when you build that upper chest, kind of gives you that well-developed chest where you can see it. You can see it pop out in your shirt more. So it's gonna make you look a little better in your, in your shirt. So I would suggest most people train incline press it's going to isolate the upper chest and even your front delts as well you work your front delts here too using that machine allows for a steady controlled motion which is ideal we try to maximize muscle uh, activation and also avoid injury at the same time so i didn't superset the incline press but next we're hopping into another superset where we're going to do arms so we're doing biceps and triceps as you can see here we are doing the barbell curl and barbell curls are great because you can really add a lot of weight. You can you can put a lot of weight on the bar and really put some stimulus on the biceps and really have that progressive overload. And then we're gonna immediately jump into skull crusher. I just use the same weight here to make that transition faster. I just turned around on the bench using the same weight. And now we're doing skull crushers. As you can tell here, I actually take the bar all the way behind my head a little bit. That way I get a little more stretch on the triceps. And then I want to not extend my elbows all the way out, just so I can keep that tension on my elbows. You can see there, right, right as I get to the top, well, yeah, right there I go ahead and come back down. That way I'm keeping that tension on the triceps the whole time. And that's gonna do it for the main muscle groups. This is the abs. We're gonna end it off doing the ab crunch machine. Uh, not all gyms are gonna have this machine. You can do this. You can just do regular crunches or weighted crunches, um, sit-ups, but I like to use this machine every now and then. We're gonna get about three sets of 15 to 20. When I do the abs, I like to do higher uh, reps. And that's gonna wrap up today's full body workout. Full body routines like this are fantastic for those who want to maximize mus muscle growth and keep their workouts short and efficient and to the point. So you wanna target each muscle group in every session when you're doing these full body workouts. And that's gonna be great for you to maximize those strength gains and the fat loss. So thanks for watching. If you enjoy this, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment with your favorite full body workout exercises. And until next time, y'all keep pushing forward.